Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, so let's solve this uh, interview problem. Uh, interview problem, and this problem is usually uh, it's not so common, but uh, it's an interesting mathematical question. Talk about ticket line. So a theater ticket office, two and people are uh, waiting to buy tickets. And of them have only five bills, and the other and and people have only ten bills. The ticket seller has no change to start with. If each person buy one five tickets, what's probably that all people will able uh, to buy a ticket without having change position. Okay, I don't know uh, what uh, how you guys fit in this question, but uh, the idea basically is following, right? So uh, obviously that uh, if, if you buy five tickets, uh, sorry, if you have $5, then the, uh, if you only have $10, then you, there should be some guy who should have $5, right, be, be, before, okay. Okay, so if we let A to B, let's, let's call A to be the, person with five dollars and the b is a person with uh b is the the indices sorry the, the label for the person with ten dollars okay and we have n a and b right so we have n a and b and our goal basically is uh, so we need we need to have a sequence so we need to have a sequence so it's called valley sequence if at uh at every step the number of a's is greater or equal to the number of Bs. Okay. Uh, okay, so, uh, okay, so for them, uh, okay, so let's let's maybe do this. Uh, let's do, uh, what well, one can do this, right? Or I can let A to be plus one, B to be minus one, okay? So for example, let's say N equals to two, that means we have two A and a two B. Okay, so one, uh, that a to be one, b to be minus one. So for example, a, a, b, b is valid, right? Because I say five dollars, I got two five dollars. There's a guy with ten dollars, so I get it five dollars. There's a guy with ten dollars, then I get it, okay? And the other, because in, you must start with a, right? So the next sequence will be, the next possibility will be a, b, right? If a, b, then the next must be a, b, right? So if there's a five dollar guy come up, five dollar guy, comes in, then the, it's fine that after that, there's a guy $10, then I get it, I, I give it, he $5, and that's, and then the next is the same, okay? Okay, so we have two choices. Okay, so if I draw it, let's say this is, uh, let's say, so, let's say we, so we just start from zero, zero to go four, zero, okay? And in general, it will be two and zero, and if, we a right so a is plus one okay so we can do this okay so this is the first way at least this okay okay so this is a a b b okay and then there is a case called a b so it's a b a b right this is a b a b okay and then the rest is not allowed right for example if there is a b here it's not allowed right so it's because it's negative okay so in this case that uh, we have two choices Okay, so let's uh, formulate this problem into a pure mathematical question. Okay. Okay, so I can define a set called the value pass. So what's the value pass? So value pass is a sequence, or basically, uh, it's, let's, say, let's say we write it. So it's a, uh, it's a pass. So pass from zero, zero to two and zero, but at each step, or uh, let's call it x, right? So h steps, for example, in x, x, y, y must greater or equal to zero, okay? It's a, so it's basically the same as upper, it's upper the y, it's on, uh, on, a, uh, on a positive y, uh, greater or equal to zero y axis, okay? And then the rest is invalid, okay? So how many paths total? In general, in the, uh, right, it will be two n choose n, right, because we have two n, uh, two n labels, and I want to place n position with a. So it's two n choose n. Okay, so our goal is to uh, find, a, and our goal is to find the number of valid paths. Okay, so it will be function of n, and we know that the function of two will be what? Will be two, right? As we just computed. Okay, so how do, how, how do you solve this problem? So what, so what is the minimum, uh, what is the value pass upper on, 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 on this upper one? Okay, so this, this proof is very tricky is that, uh, 
Okay, so let's write down the let's write down the proof. So this proof is very very tricky. It's very hard to think. So if you start, uh, if you draw a line, right? Let's call this is y minus one. Okay. So the idea is the following, right? Let's say let's say this is invalid path. Let's say somebody gives you in in, in invalid path. Okay, let's say this is one invalid path. Okay, and then you notice that uh, if you do a reflection, reflection means that uh, uh, re reflection means that uh, you reflect it. You reflect it every you every reflected path along this y minus y equals minus one. Okay, so you start uh, so you do the you do a reflection. Okay. Uh, after you touch this, okay, so you get this. Okay, so do you reflect this side? Okay, and then this guy, and then since you reflect, you have two and minus one, minus two. Okay. So what I wanted to collect claim is that the the number of invalid the the each invalid pass so invalid pass is one to one corresponding to the pass. If you do y equals to one reflection, then you will get the pass from zero, zero to two n minus two. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna to prove. Okay, uh, okay, so let's see. So if, if you believe this is true, let me just tell you the answer. If you believe that statement is true, then the, it's very easy, right? You are just the value pass will be just to choose a minus the invalid pass, right? Invalid pass is a, you start from zero, zero, goes to two and minus two, right? So there will be n plus, n, this, is, this is the same as you get n minus one a, and n plus one b. Okay, so you get two n and choose one, okay? And the things you are asking about the probability, so will be uh, two n choose n, and choose n minus two n and minus one. Okay, you can simply do this calculation uh, by yourself. It's not difficult, but I mean, just you can just compute it. So this is the answer. Okay, and uh, so why this is why this is true? Okay, so let's just do this. So proof is very simple, right? Because obviously that uh, you, obviously that uh, you can easily see that this reflection principle, this reflection, this reflection will always. Uh, will always lead to two n minus two, uh, two n minus two, right? Because because you are finally you all you finally always always get this two n zero, right? So if you do a reflection, you always get two n minus two. So which we so this reflection, right? This reflection will give give you a map, give to invalid pass to the pass from zero to two n minus two. So let's call this B. Okay, so this reflection will give you the injective map. But obviously that these two paths, if you do reflection will be will be different if the two two paths different. So this gives you in fact injective map from uh, invalid to B. Okay. And obviously that the uh, and obviously that uh, okay, so this is the one 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 uh, one directions. And then the, the other direction is also trivial, right? Because if if there is a path from zero zero to two and minus one, that path must touch minus one. Right. So any pass because final it's because it's final final destination is the it's y equals to a negative two, right? So there must be some time such that this pass touch touch some points, right? Touch some points at y equals to minus one. Pass from zero to zero, to zero to to n minus two must touch must touches y equals to minus one. Uh, at some point, okay, this guy will be an invalid pass. Okay, so this gives you the one to run one to one bijective map. Okay, so this is the answer. Uh, let's do some calculation to simple these results. Uh, so it's two n factorial and factorial factorial minus two n factorial minus one factorial and plus one factorial divided by 2n factorial m factorial factorial uh, so 2n to the yeah i mean yeah so you can i mean i i'm i'm terrible i'm i'm tired but you can you can do the calculation so it's like this
Okay, and then I think you can like take out. Uh, yeah, so you can see that uh, this is n factorial n plus one. Right, because I take out, I take n plus one. Uh, that's right. Uh, that's that's right. There. So it's oh, sorry. Let's do this. Okay, so our our calculation will be this. Let's let's do the this. Okay, so this is the same as you uh you you get the uh, n plus one. You 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 write n plus one factorial as n factorial, right? So n factorial in the n plus one. Okay, then you can take out one n factorial, and then you get the uh, this okay, and I think you can do the you can do some simple cap. you can just uh write as n minus one factorial and uh oh let me see uh what the heck is going on Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, those are stretch right x n factorial and uh, n plus one. Okay, so you get n plus one minus n, right? Because you just times n, it becomes this. So you get, you get the uh, one divided n factorial n plus one. Okay, so if you go back, you, you, you use this, right? And then divided by one over n plus one factorials, that you get an answer will be, uh, sorry, answer will be, uh, Right, answer will be one plus n one divided by n plus one n factorial square divided by one over n factorial square. So it should be one divided by n plus one. Okay, so for n equals to two, you get one divided by three, right? So there are two choices, but total six, right? So the answer will be one divided by one divided by n plus one. Okay, so let me just using one divided by n plus one. So uh, yeah, the calculation and the proof are just already provided and uh, hope you guys subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more probability question, you can subscribe to my video and uh, check the list.